Hey guys, welcome back to Hype RC. Today on the channel, we have not one, but two brand new releases from Hobby Wing. The rumors had gone around for a while that they were going to get into the micro and mini size brushless motors, and they did with two brand new kits released at the exact same time. So over here, we have the new Quick Run Fusion Mini 16. This is a two-in-one combo. And then we have the new Mini 24, which is a separate ESC and Outrunner brushless motor. They both list a couple different scale sizes for each motor, so I'm not exactly sure what we're going to put this in yet, but I can't wait to get these out of the box. We're going to get over to the bench, see what comes in these packages, and then take them out for a crawl. Stick around and check it out. So let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at the Quick Run Fusion Mini 16. So this is a two in one, which means the ESC is built directly into the motor. It is a 3000 KV, they say suitable for 16th and 18th scale and does have FOC, which is field oriented control, which means the motor will match RPMs when you come to an object and help you smoothly crawl over the top of it at the same speed. So Hobby Wing does a great job with their packaging. Let's get this thing out of the box. So this motor looks very nice, very reminiscent of the Fusion Pro for the tent scale. So we'll get this out, get all the wires pulled out. So it looks very nice. What else comes in the package? So it looks like we have a very nice instruction manual, a zip tie, and then some double-sided adhesive for the power switch. So let's start off by taking a look at the wires. So we have a power switch with a selector button on it. We have an EC2 connector. This is 2 and 3S capable. And then there's our lead. It looks like we have possibly a program wire right here too. So that will allow us to program the motor and possibly be able to change something on the fly. I'm guessing probably drag brake through a separate port on your receiver. Now, this is a 24 millimeter can that's 42 millimeters long, 2.3 millimeter output drive shaft. This is a 30 amp ESC. It has a four amp BEC that is six volt and 7.4 volt capable. They claim that this is completely waterproof. And then it does have multiple bolt patterns of 14, 16, and 17 millimeters to be able to install this in multiple different rigs. So this looks very nice. This is exactly what I expected from Hobby Wing. And they have done a fantastic job with the packaging and the motor and nice aluminum end plate on this as well. So let's go ahead and take an up close look at the Mini 24 system. So here's the Mini 24 combo. Hobby Wing again does a great job on packaging. Now both of these can be purchased separately from each other, but man, they do a great job. So we have the outer 1621 and then the Mini 24 ESC. These are both quick run as well. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the motor first. Let's see what else came in this package. So very nice foam insert. Looks like we have an instruction manual and then the motor itself. So this is very nice. This is a 3,500 kV outrunner. So the outside of the motor spins. And then there is the three wire right there. I'm not quite sure what that diameter is on that motor shaft right now, but this is not waterproof. They claim that the ESC is waterproof, but I don't see too many outrunner motors that are waterproof in my experience. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is not. And then this is two and three S capable. Now this is 15.8 millimeters by 21 millimeters long and this definitely looks like it will install in a 24th or 18th scale rig let's go ahead and take a look at the esc now So this comes with an extra motor mount in case you do a brushed motor this is brushless and brush capable looks like we have a program wire and of course there's the motor output battery and then there is the connector for your receiver. So this is waterproof. They've completely sealed the top of this. Looks like we have a nice little push button there. Now this is a 25 amp ESC. It has a two amp BEC in it that is six volt and 7.4 volt capable. This is very lightweight, very small. I'm not quite sure why they left the top of it open, but it is definitely sealed up watertight, but it looks very nice. And then this retails for $74.99 for the motor and the ESC, which again can be bought separate from each other. But if you're going to go this route, I would definitely go by purchasing them both together. So let's go ahead and figure out the kinds of rigs that we can install these two motors in. 
So here are the two rigs that I've chosen to upgrade with these new Hobby Wing systems, and let's talk about why. So I went through a bunch of different rigs, and I set it on these two because I think it's really going to put these two motors to the test. Let's start off with the TRX-4M. So this is a comp build with all Enjora parts except for the factory shocks and the ESC receiver combo. Other than that, everything on this is Enjora. So the weird thing about the Mini 24 combo is, is it has an SEX24 battery plug, but this shaft size is actually for a TRX. X4M. And so when I went to put an SEX24 pinion on here, it wasn't going to fit over the shaft. I just happened to have an 11 tooth Fury Tech pinion, and that's going to go ahead and allow me to drop this right into this. Now, this is a very capable rig, and I think with a brushless system installed, it should really increase the performance on this. Then we have the Element Ecto from Associated over here. This is an awesome rig, very capable, but the Reedy power system in here is terrible. The drag brake will not hold this rig on any type of incline or decline. So I think installing a brushless system with drag brake and FOC is going to be perfect for this. Everybody else seems to be putting this in a UTB 18, which is a great rig, but this is much bigger and much heavier. And I think it's really going to test the limits of this new mini 16 system. And I just happen to have a team associated 11 tooth pinion, which will drop this right in this rig as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get both of these motors installed and then we'll take it out for a crawl.
All right, guys, a lot of fun getting out and running these two new brushless systems from Hobby Wing, the Mini 24 and the Mini 16. Let's go ahead and jump into the pros and the cons on both of them. So they both have FOC. They both are 2 and 3S capable. They're both programmable. They're both budget-minded in price at $60 and $75, and they both have FOC built in as well. So I like all those pros about both of them, but let's go ahead and jump into the cons on them. So they both don't really fit into a specific category. So the Mini 24 really has the shaft for a 18th scale rig, but it has the battery plug for a 24 scale rig. And if you're gonna put this in a 24 scale rig, it most likely looks like you're gonna to have to cut that motor shaft off and spend a lot of time looking for a pinion. So that's kind of weird that it really doesn't fit into either category specifically, and it's designated the Mini 24, which would make you think that it's designed for a 24 scale rig. And then the Mini 16 really is designed for like the UTB 18, maybe the Ecto 12, the Enduro 12, which aren't like super popular scale size. There's no comp size for really, unless you're gonna run like the Mini class. So it really doesn't fit into an exact category either. Now, the programmability of both of these is also very different. So the Mini 24 is actually pretty good on being able to program. And then the Mini 16 is really lacking a lot of adjustability for a crawler. And then the other thing is, neither of them work with the new programming card from Hobby Wing, specifically the LCD one. So these are new products, they've got a new program card, but you still have to use the old analog card to program both of them, which is just disappointing that there's new products, I paid good money for this new programming card, and you still have to use the one from 20 years ago to be able to program. And then the fact that I really don't think that Either one of them is great with the amperage. So we have 25 amps here. We have 30 amps over here. The BEC is only two amps over here, capable of 7.4. And then the BEC is only four amps over here with 7.4. So if you run power hungry servos, neither of them are gonna like that. So what I would say about both of these, I think they are good. Neither of them are great. They are priced very well, you know, 60 and $75 is below average for prices for brushless system for either one of these rigs but you're kind of getting what you pay for in both of them you know i wouldn't put either one of these in a true comp vehicle but if you are looking for a brushless system for an 18 scale trx 4m you know a sin 18 and you have 60 dollars to spend i think this is money well spent to be able to put it in that and get you know better abilities with that rig and then you know like with the ecto 18 or the utb 18 or the ecto 12 you know, the drag brake on the Reedy system was absolutely terrible on this. And you can see in the running footage that the drag brake was way better. This is a huge upgrade for this rig. And really, there's not a comp class for these size vehicles anyways. So I do think that it is nice, but I expected this to be more like the Fusion Pro with a lot of tunable adjustments for a crawler. And this motor kind of seems to sit between a basher motor and a crawler motor, even though it's geared more towards, you know, a crawler. And then a 24 and a 16. So this really isn't for a 24 scale rig and this isn't really for a 16 scale rig. So, you know, the names are confusing, which is just weird to me. But again, I think that they are good, but they are definitely not great. That's my honest opinion of them. I do like Hobby Wing. I have a lot of their stuff in my bashers, tent scale crawlers, and these are good but I wouldn't really expect a whole lot out of them other than what I just mentioned to you. So don't forget to support your local hobby shops. Bash, crawl, drift, repeat. Hit that subscribe and like button for me and ring the bell so you can catch my next video. We'll see you next time.